What's up YouTubers? This is Renati here and this is my Vanomation project. What we have here is my poster board. Um, we had to pick three Disney, three art, three urban, one minimalist, and one choice. So at the bottom is Maleficent and she's from Disney and I really, she wasn't my favorite one but yeah that's Maleficent. Up top is my starry night it was part of the art and then below it is the surrealism and night sky that has planets inside of it and the moon has the cities inside and over there is the tokidoki it's part of the art category also tokidoki is like a huge company they make little cute horses and stuff that is my unicorn. It's part of the urban. And beside it is the winged wolf. It has a tail and the wings are kind of hard. Most people say it looks like a fox, but it's really a wolf. Just if you didn't know. He's looking at the sun. And I have my phoenix. He's part of my urban also. He was nice. Um, my minimalist are my waves. Um, they're easy. And my choice was my dragon. I really like the dragon, but it kind of got really dirty at the bottom because I guess the oil and the coloring got mixed in. Um, up top, I have Merlin, and he's part of the Disney. And below him is the evil queen of Snow White. And yeah, I really like the winged wolf and... The unicorn and my phoenix they were my favorite the urban the tokidoki was one of my other favorites you'll see that i used tokidoki and the surrealism one in my projects the most so yeah um i wish i had more time on the title title wasn't my favorite um i could have done a lot better on the title it's really plain and boring and simple but overall, I think I did a good job on my poster board. But yeah, this is my poster board. And next up, we have my box. So, yeah. Next, we have my Vinylmation box. Um, for Vinylmation box, we had to have five panels. And each panel had to have um, our Vinylmations that we did from our poster board in the panel. And the board vomation had to be incorporated in two panels. So for my top panel, I did the Phoenix. Most people like the Phoenix. I do. And I really liked how the colors correspond with the Phoenix itself. Um, it came out really nice. How the black and the red and the yellow colors that I mostly used was red, orange, and black. Black was for the outlining, but I like how it all came out all together. It really came out really neat. It was nice. Next, we have my Surrealism, a night sky that has the planets and the moon has like a little city in it. Um, he's, the background is supposed to be the cosmos. Like he's supposed to be in the cosmos, like in outer space. I was trying to do something really simple because my other panels were like really complex. So I wanted to do something simple and easy. So I really liked how it came out. Like, so yeah. Next we have my unicorn. She got dirty when I was gluing and I got really upset. But she came out nice. Um, she's in this mystical forest. And yeah, she's in the mystical forest. and. The stuff on the tree is supposed to be tree moss, if some of you guys didn't know that, it's tree moss. In the background, um, they're like little leaves falling from little branches. And when I was coloring the background with marker, it kind of tore, but overall it came out to be a really nice background. I really liked it. Next we have my winged wolf. He is like looking down at the I guess from a cloud and he was nice the color scheme is kind of different from the poster because I didn't have the poster in front of me to see what color 
he should look like, but he came out nice. The glue kind of, the glue wasn't that, so yeah, the edges were lifting, but it came out nice. Um, I liked how the blue, how it integrates to light blue to dark blue. And he came out nice. Um, he's looking down at the ground and the little black things are trees, if some of you couldn't tell. And I incorporate the mystical and vinylation on my winged wolf and my phoenix. So yeah, this is my winged wolf panel. Next up is my Tokidoki panel. It's my favorite out of all of them. I really like oh, all of them. Um, I didn't want to incorporate the Jamaican Tokidoki because I don't think it would look good. I just don't like the Jamaican one. But anywho, I like this one. Um, it came out really nice. This one was a clean coloring. I liked Mocha, the little cow, unicorn, pegasus. It was really cute. Um, the coloring was nice. It was hard to get the colors right because it was hard to find the right colors, but overall I found it. But yeah, this is my Vinylmation box. So, yeah. Next up is my Vinylmation plush. Um, the plush project was really nice. I enjoyed doing it. Um, it was a really easy project because I'd done the project before. The sewing was, I think, a really bad job because when I was sewing, like, some of the seams, like, broke when stuffing, but I guess it has a toy factor, and I put a lot of time into this project. Um, I liked how it came out. The paint job, you can't really see the, the white. There's, like, little white spots, but overall, it came out nice. It looks like the white's part of the painting, but it came out nice. What I did for my plush, um, I did the surrealism, and since it's dark, I decided, hey, since it's nighttime, we should turn it into daytime. So I wanted to do daytime. So yeah, it's day. Yeah. So <laughs> it's daytime. And I, what you, what's different is we have a dirt path and instead of all the land being black, it's green and the tree is a bronze color instead of black. and. It has little cherry buds, I guess, and it has a little plant, which you can see instead of the little green outline on the night side. And I like how it turned out. The clouds came out really clean. I didn't expect that since it's white. Um, instead of little meteors on the back, I'm gonna do a kite. So yeah. So I did a kite, and on the top were the cosmos little planets were I wanted to do on the light side little bugs and stuff but it really I didn't have that that much time but it came out nice what's different for the moon side for the whole for the planet was that the cities aren't that tall which you can see they're lower but overall it was nice it's supposed to be the sun but yeah I liked it so this was a nice project. Um, for that ear that I'm holding, it came, I cut the thing out wrong and it was disproportionate. So that's why the night is curving to the daytime. And I was kind of disappointed I cut it wrong. But it came, it's kind of okay. But I really liked it. Like when I was stuffing, the stuffing seam popped open right there. And it popped open and it was I sewed it back but it was too tight too but I liked how it all came together the little there was a little mess up where the meteors are shooting there's like a little black spot up there but it's really hard to tell I liked how the moon has that shine factor and how it came out um I liked how the meteors are with the planet I just really liked this project. It was fun and easy. But yeah, this is my plush. <music> and 
next up is my Vinylmation ATC, which stands for Artists' Trading Cards. Um, we didn't have to incorporate our our poster board in this project. We had to do our own, which I liked. Um, I have seven trading cards in all. My first trading card, which you see there, is flowers and vines. Like, yeah, I didn't really care for this one. It wasn't my favorite, but. It was, you know, it was my first, but I don't really care for it. They're like flowers and how they're coiling, but overall I didn't really care for it. But I found the image on Google and I just made it my own. My main colors are black, blue, and green and white. But yeah, and I outlined with Sharpie. Next is my second one. Um, I like this one. It came out really nice. Um, the symmetry isn't that equal though, but overall it was a nice trading card. I liked it. It's elegant looking and I like the black and how it goes with the white. But yeah, I like this one. Next up is my third trading card. I really like this one. It came out really good. Um, I got inspired from my bathroom. Um, for my theme because my theme is hummingbirds and I like how they're flying through the sakura plants and it just looks like they're coming out of like a thunderstorm and they're going into this calm scenery but I like how the hummingbirds like go with the colors but yeah I didn't want to add too much colors to it because I think it would have you couldn't tell like the hummingbirds but I really like how it turned out to be. Next we have my fourth one. It came out nice. I like the plant theme. Oh, I could see this on a Vinylmation. Well, me personally, I can see this on a Vinylmation. I really think they came out nice. Um, my main colors are like were light green, lime green, and dark green, and outlined with Sharpie. I really like to outline, and there's a hint of brown. I liked how this turned out. It has that forestry look to it. And yeah, I think I messed up for the coloring part, but overall I think it came out nice. I like how the leaves go with the feet and stuff. But yeah, this is my fourth one. My fifth one, I came up on my own because I like Tokidoki a lot. So I'm like, okay, I want to do this little Tokidoki mini baby. She's like out in this thunderstorm, not thunderstorm, it's this little scary cloud and it scared her and she's crying, but I didn't really like this one, but I came up with it on my own. But yeah, that's my fifth one. My sixth one, I really liked. Um, I found it off of Google. You can pick this as a theme. I forgot the artist's name I found it off of, but you can pick it as a theme if you have Windows 7. I liked how this turned out. It came, it was cute. I think what the picture is, it's like this snowman in the little bunny suit kind of thing. I like how it turned out. I like the colors. I never knew how like simple colors can come out to like a good project, but I liked how this trading card looked. I like the colors and how the shadowing is nice. I just like how this turned out. So yeah. My last trading card was by the same artist. I don't remember the name. Um, he's supposed to be this coffee cup and he's holding uh, his head, a little of him like in his hand. I like how it came out. It was my first time doing shadow at the bottom. I don't know how to do shadowing, it's my first time. And I liked how it turned out. It was cute, I like how he's blushing and yeah, so yeah, these are my trading cards. Next up we have our plaster. The plaster was kind of hard to do, but I did it off of Tokidoki. For this project, we had to incorporate our poster board into a plaster. I did Tokidoki, because I really like Tokidoki. Um, I liked how it turned out. The outlining was really hard when I had to outline it because the Sharpie would 
rub on the plaster and the plaster would get on the Sharpie tip and no Sharpie would come out. So it was kind of hard for outlining, but you really can't tell it from way back here. But I like how it turned out. The paint job was kind of easy and hard because you had to paint with a small brush and it was hard to get into the corners and stuff, but I liked how it came out. It was um, really simple. It was a simple project. I liked how it came, like how her feet like bend into the, to that bend into like the vinylmation feet. But yeah, her near the end it looked kind of awkward because how it's curving. But overall, I liked how the plaster came out. The green kind of got um, kind of messed up, but I liked how it came out to be. Um, it was hard to outlining the green because it was in that corner, like I said. But overall, this plaster project was really fun. I liked how detailed it looks and I like her wings. But yeah, this is my plaster project. Last but not least, I have my custom. The custom was my favorite. We did not have to incorporate our, our poster board. For this project we had to make our own vinylmation including the box um i liked how it turned out to be um the character i did was bayonetta she is an ombre witch um she's from a video game and i really liked how this turned out um when doing the box it was easy there's some there the box wasn't that neat though there's some glue you can still see like glue edges, but it was kind of okay. I liked how the ribbons like incorporate her hair. Yeah, so the red ribbons incorporate her hair. Yeah, I liked how it came out. Um, Next, I'll take her out of the box. Yeah, so yeah. Okay, she has three accessories. She has three accessories with her, like on her, and her accessories are her glasses, her glasses, her hair, the long piece on top of her head is her hair. Um, I made that by um, Play-Doh and I made it into the shape and her ribbons are her hair. Um, she's, you can move her arms, like she's movable, but I didn't really wanna, it was hard cause the paint but I really liked how she came out. It looks, it would look nice from a distance, but the paint job, I don't think it was that neat. Um, the little yellow thing on her chest is her umbra watch and the red dot, it's supposed to be the left eye. Like it'll be, it's in the game, but yeah. This is my custom and I liked how it turned out. So yeah, this is my custom in my custom box.